guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday, and we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner um, with this teriyaki chicken stir fry kit from Aldi. The, we had the other one last week. It was a like a spicy Korean noodle, and it was really, really good. Super quick to make. Um, I had this teriyaki one in my fridge that I needed to use up. So it comes with the um, noodles. So there's two packages of noodles that it comes with, yakisoba noodles. And I've already got that going in the skillet and waiting for that to um, heat up. And then I have some broccoli left over in the fridge that I'm gonna add to this to kind of bulk it up a little bit. And let me show you what else comes in the kit. Um, it comes with teriyaki sauce. It comes with sesame seeds. And then it comes with this chicken, which is actually really good. And that is it. Oh, here's my leftover broccoli Whoops. that I'm planning to add to this dish as well. So I will bring you guys back and show you what it looks like as soon as it's all cooked up. All right, so here is the noodle kit. You can hear it's still sizzling away. It really only takes about five, 10 minutes to make this noodle kit. And I said it on my last video, I really wish Aldi had these year round because they are so good. Again, uh, we are having the teriyaki chicken. Last week we had the Korean, um, like Korean, spicy Korean noodle or something, I can't remember. I'll try to remember to link it in the description box so you guys can check that out. But these are so good. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight we are having one of our favorites. It's this DiGiorno, um, the crispy pan pizza. We got Supreme and it has pepperoni sausage, red and green peppers, onions, black olives, pepperoni, blah, 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 and sausage. And so it comes in this pan and that you cook it in, of course, and you cook it at a pretty high temperature. I think it's like 450 or four, I don't know, I don't remember. Um, and then you take it out of the pan and you put it on a cookie sheet, and so here it is. And it's really thick and golden. Let me show you the crust here. Kind of reminds you of Pizza Hut pan pizza. Now, I'm not saying it tastes like Pizza Hut, but I'm saying it's a thick, kind of a golden crust. And then we cut it open. Oops, there it is. So I cut it open so that you guys could see what it looks like cut. So we really like this pizza a lot. It's a little bit pricey. Um, they have it in the grocery stores, of course. In the grocery store, I think it's about eight bucks. But we also get a twin pack from Sam's and it's pepperoni that you get from Sam's and I think it's like 12 bucks. So I've not seen Supreme at Sam's, just pepperoni. So if you want a variety of this type of pizza, then you do have to get it from the grocery store. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some stir fried broccoli. I had some fresh broccoli in my fridge that I used up and then I made um, some green onion and mushroom stir fried rice. I used jasmine rice and sesame oil and seasoned it up. And then in my freezer, I have had this for a while from Trader Joe's and wanted to use it up. So you get six lemongrass shrimp wontons and then you get six Kung Pao shrimp rolls right there. And I just baked mine in the oven. It doesn't come with any sauce or anything. That's just on the package. Um, but here it is in the plate and it smells so good. So um, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some nachos. I had these chips in the pantry, but they were a little bit stale. And so I didn't wanna throw them away. I wanted to show you guys that you can reuse even stale taco chips, I mean, tortilla chips or taco shells, anything like that. All you have to do is preheat your oven to 350, um, put your tortilla chips or your shells on the pan and pop them in the oven for three to five minutes. Do make sure you keep an eye on them because they will burn. Take them out of the oven, let them cool a bit, and they will be as good as new. See how crispy that is? And they were a little bit stale. So there's no reason to throw them away. For my queso dip, I had about two ounces of cream cheese left in my fridge. I had half a box of Velveeta in my fridge and then some Rotel. And so I just made some queso dip. And then from my freezer, I had some ground beef. I added some taco seasoning. Of course, I drained it very well. And so here is the um, ground beef. Okay, so here are the nachos all plated up. 
Hey guys, it's about 7.30 in the morning and I am prepping my dinner for tonight. I have a pretty big roaster, it's about six pounds in my crock pot. Um, and as you can see, I seasoned it. I pulled the skin up so that I could get the seasoning in there too. And um, there is some foil paper on the bottom of my crock pot. I took four pieces of foil paper and I balled them up in pretty big balls so that the chicken can sit on top of it so that the chicken won't fall apart and end up at the bottom of the crock pot. So it's kind of like a little rack, if you will. So I meant to um, season this chicken and kind of let it sit overnight, but I thought about taking the chicken out too late. So it's finally thawed out this morning and I seasoned it. So I'm gonna put it in my fridge for a few hours and let the seasoning kind of um, get in there. So, um, and then when I take it out, I'm gonna cook it on low for about eight hours. So of course, I will bring you guys back to show you what the crop, what, how the chicken looks. And it is breast side down, as you can see. So we are having um, this roasted chicken. I'm gonna make some homemade mashed potatoes. Uh, I may try and make some homemade gravy. I've never made that before. And then I think I'm gonna try that Pioneer um, Woman green bean casserole. So anyway, I will show you how everything turns out in the end. Okay guys, so here is the chicken. I cooked it in the crock pot for eight hours. The first hour I cooked it on high. In the next seven hours, I cooked it on low, and here it is. So the thing about making chicken in the crock pot is that it's not gonna get all nice and golden brown like a rotisserie chicken. So what I did was remove it from the crock pot, and then I just put it, as you can see, in this foil baking pan, and I literally put it on broil in my oven for two minutes, and it gave it this nice golden brown color. So I am going to plate up our dinner, and then I will show you how everything else turned out. Hey guys, so here is the plate. So here is some chicken. I have a leg and I guess a little bit of a thigh. And then I have some mashed potatoes and uh, actually they're homemade mashed potatoes. And then I made some cream gravy with the um, drippings from the chicken. And then for the green, for the green bean casserole, we are using this um, Pioneer Woman green bean casserole, and it's okay. But here are my mashed potatoes, um, and they actually really turned out really good. And then here's my cream gravy that I made too. That was my first time making cream gravy, and it actually really has a good flavor. So this is our dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.